Hi, Andy Brocklehurst here with another tutorial for Software Product Magic. And in this one, we're going to look at building a calorie calculator, sort of a fitness piece of software. Uh, this is inspired by a WSO that Jimmy Riley ran a while back, uh, in which he sold a product with rights called eBody. And uh, this was also the subject of his uh, excellent three-day WSO video set, uh, which if you're interested in launching Warrior Special Offers, I highly recommend you get hold of. The, um, this offer's now closed, so if I wanted a piece of software that did what this did, I can build one myself. And that's what we're gonna do. But we're gonna do it with Software Product Magic, which is gonna make it very, very simple. So the first thing I did was went and researched a some weight loss stuff, because I, I knew nothing about weight loss at all. Here is a website that I found fairly early on in my searching. Now, I'm just going to do a simple thing. This isn't going to be as good as the thing that Jimmy offered in his WSO, um, but this will show you how you can go about doing something that does calculations. Um, and there, there's actually two approaches to doing calculations. Uh, you could use a bit of HTML with some JavaScript in it that did all the maths for you, if you know JavaScript. But if you don't, you can very easily do the calculations from within Software Product Magic. And that's the way that we're going to approach it here. So I found a formula that will uh, basically work out calorific intake and then based on your age, weight, height, and how much exercise you do. And then if you want to lose weight, you either need to take in less calories and it tells you you can eat in a day or increase your exercise. So it's a very straightforward thing. I've uh, made these files up in advance just to save some time, but I'm gonna open them up and show you what's in them. I've created a background image, which is just literally a uh, banner and a sort of a what off white, slightly off white bottom part. So I'm gonna use this behind my software when the software's running, and I'm also gonna use it at the end uh, in the results thing, so. Here's the results file I've made. This is an HTML file. And I just put this together using Composer, which is a free HTML editor, and um, put the tags in as I went along. So there's, there's nothing, in fact, I will just open it up. For those of you that understand HTML, I'll open it up in Composer real quick. And you'll see, even if you don't understand HTML, Composer makes it uh, very easy because it is a pretty much a WYSIWYG editor. I've not had to edit any of the actual HTML code. So here it is. I've set that as my, the, the image as the background, and then I've made a little table, and this is just text, and it's so easy. And then I've put in the tags that we're gonna fill in from the software. So a software name across the top. Um, I could have coded that uh, straight into the graphic, but if I wanted to make this a piece of software that I could sell with a brander, uh, and they change the name of it, they would want the name of their product on the results page. So I've done it as a tag. Then we've got, uh, this is gonna be down to the end to what their sex, weight and height is, and their age, and then the output, which would be the calorie intake. So pretty simple stuff, uh, except to get calorie intake, we're gonna have to do some mathematics on these figures, dip and, and some of it is dependent on how they answer various questions. So that's the template we've made. That's the only two files that uh, this is gonna work with. So when we scan, it's just gonna look for the tags in there. So let's load up Software Product Magic and I will load the project that uh, I have used to build this with. Okay, so here we are. Uh, I've already built this so that I can just talk you through it fairly quickly. I'm not gonna mention anything on the front page because that's covered in other videos. When I scanned for the tags, the tags it found were the ones that were in that HTML document. So it found sex, software name, weight, height, age, activity, and uh, calorie intake, because that was listed in there. I have added calc one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So these are tags I've done. I've added manually using the adder tag and then just move them up. 
Uh, I had to do them above calorie intake because that's the final equation and it needs these to do it. Uh, you've got to remember that tags process sequentially. So if I want to refer in this to a, a previously worked out formula, I need to have done that previous formula first. Let's just go to number one. So you can see how I've done this. So question number one is a list of answers question. What sex are you? Brief explanation, male or female. And list of answers is going to be a drop down list, much like this one. And to do a drop down list, you give your comma separated possible answers. Uh, so male, comma, female. Then I need to get the software name because remember I want to put the software name out at the top of the results just up here. So to do that, I've said software name is a system value and under system values, you have one called software title. So that's what I've selected there. Then I'm gonna ask them their weight, just a normal question, their height in inches, it's a normal question, and their age. Okay, then I'm gonna ask them how active they are. And again, we've done this as a list of answers. How much activity do you do on a daily basis? And there are the options, uh, sedentary, lightly active, moderately active, and very active. Again, I've taken them straight from the options that are listed down here in the uh, formula that I've found online. Okay, so now we're into doing some clever stuff. This is a conditional equation. And basically, I want to put into this tag a value, and that value is different depending on whether they are male or female. And that is because in our thing here, under calculate BMR, the first stage of the, here's the formula here for men and for women. So the formula differs for each. So basically I have taken this formula and put in here, there is the woman's one there and there is the man's one there. And this is just straight mathematics. Uh, equations in this, do, it does basic maths. So this is doing 66 plus and then it's going to do this calculation that's in brackets here and you'll notice that where i want the weight that they've entered i just put the tag in so there's the uh, one formula there's the other one so if the sex question is equal to male then it will take that formula and put the result evaluate it and put the result into calc one if they are female so if false, if that condition, if they're not male, then it will do that formula and put the answer into calc one. So next I need to put a value into uh, these dependent on how they've answered the activity question. And I'm not gonna over explain any of this here, uh, but basically in the calculations part, I need to multiply something by a different number dependent on their level of activity. So what I've done here is said, okay, we will put into calc two the value 20 if they are sedentary and zero if they've answered anything else to that question. And then calc three, I've done a similar one. So if they're active, it will put the value 30 into calc three uh, because you can't edit an existing tag, so you can, whatever you're doing here is going to, the result will always go in here, and this will, always has to be a unique tag. So in order to get a value, I need to put 20 in it if they're sedentary, 30 if they're lightly active, 40 if they're moderately active, 50, and so on. So you need to get, because I need to get a number that it gets multiplied by dependent on our activity level. What I do is I just put the value into, each value goes into a different tag, but with zero as the other option. Then all I need to do at the end is add all those tags together and it will give me the correct value. Then uh, I need to know what the first calculation divided by 100 is. That was to do with the formula. 
And now finally, I just take, I do an equation, no condition on this, into calc 7, it will put, it will add up calc 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now, they were the ones that, if we go back, 2 was the one for sedentary. So, it's, say they had answered um, lightly active to the activity question. So, this will get processed and it will put 0 into calc 2. It will put 30 into calc 3, 0 into calc 4, 0 into calc 5. So, when it adds them all together, it's going to get 30 because it's going to do 0 plus 30 plus 0 plus 0. And that is exactly what I needed to get here because I needed to get the appropriate value depending on how they'd answered the question. Finally, take the answer to calc 1, add it to calc 7, stick the answer into calorie intake, and we're finished. Let's um, look at the final settings. So for this software, I don't want it to pop up a box at the end with files in it, and they have to open a file to look. So I'm going to create the files in the Windows temporary folder. I'm not going to open that folder when it completes, in, but I am going to display a file, and I'm going to display the results.html file. So that's where I want to build my software. That's what I want the program to be called. I'm going to let them save and load in this piece of software. So if they've put all their values in, they can save them. And then when they say increase their activity, they can come back, load it up, go through and just change the activity and get their new results. Background image. That is the uh, same image that you saw at the beginning, just the, uh, the background one with a banner on it. And I'm not going to worry about any of these for now. I've already built this once, but I will overwrite it. And then we'll open that up and we'll take a look at what the software does. So here we are, here's our eCalorie software. So we see that uh, there's our background image. So what sex are you? Okay, I'm male. My weight in pounds, oh, 350 say, height in inches, 70, age in years, 40, how much activity do I do? And let's say I'm uh, sedentary, I don't do anything. Okay, press a button, bang, there's the results. And so now you have a piece of software that just gives you results on screen. It doesn't build files or anything like that. So this takes this kind of software builder into a whole new realm. You also have a print engine, so which becomes active whenever something is displayed here. So now there's a print option appeared on the menu. So if I wanted to, I could print this out. Uh, I could even go to print options and turn off the background images so that I can just print the results out without using lots of ink. So it's got all of that is built in, does that for you. You don't have to do anything to configure that. It just works. So there we go. That is how to build a calorie calculator. But equally, you could do it to build sort of anything that needs to make calculations. And that's using software product magic, the easiest and quickest way to rapidly build profit making software. Thanks for watching.